nobody wants to come to New York anymore. <laughs> yeah. What's up with the free agency in the NBA? It's 2015. Everybody's going to these smaller markets, New yes. York, L.A., Boston, getting ignored for a lot yeah. of times. And I know Wait, we want... I'm sorry. Yeah, nope. You got to <laughs> gotta, gotta acknowledge the fact that even though they are big markets, New York and L.A., they are in rebuilding mode right now. I think that's one of the reasons why... Uh, for the why, last 40 years? Yeah, but nah, come on. In New like, York? L.A. was not. winning championships a couple years ago. No, but like, L.A. This, that, I Whatever. think that's what it really is behind. Because uh, LaMarcus coming in and looking at the Knicks does not really much to play with outside of Carmelo. Greg Monroe said the same thing. Actually, in, in, in his free agency, Monroe actually prioritized getting back to the playoffs because he's never been there. Sure. Well, not getting back, but making the playoffs. He's never Monroe's never been to the playoffs, so that's why he signed up Milwaukee. So it's really that. And then... NBA TV, they made some great points talking about free agency and saying that uh, you, re- you really don't have to play in a big market to be a star anymore. Understood. Because of social media, with Twitter, and Vine, and there's videos being posted every minute. So your personality can shine through. And with the way basketball is taking over, you know, popularity-wise, people are going to know players when they... When, when people can ball, they're going to notice that. No question. So, like, in Ky- like Kyrie Irving, we, he played for the Cavs. We know he can ball. But right. it's not because of the Cavs, because he we know he can play. Right. That's why we know him, so... It really, it really don't have to be in a you know big market anymore.